Hi, everybody. All right. Okay. Let me know if you can hear me, if the sound is okay. System check, check, check. How's everybody doing? Super excited to paint to paint um, the chapel tonight. Let's turn off that banner real quick. That would be helpful also. There we go. Can you hear me? Question. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what's going on, shall we? Sometimes, sometimes things, things happen. And somehow I lost everybody. Do you guys, can you guys see me? Let me know in the comments, loud and clear. <laughs> okay. Just trying to reconnect. I saw quite a few people here and then everybody's kind of disappeared. I don't know what happened. Let me see. The traditional, you know, traditional, like five minutes <laughs> trying to uh, connect everything just to make sure that I can see everybody. Okay, I see Jody. I have uh, Sam from Mainer. I have Angie and Megan. All right, so in the chapel tonight, we um, we're going to be using just four colors. Pretty simple. Um, I will be starting with uh, turquoise. It's called Sea Breeze. I think it's a little bit more green than I'd like it to be. So I'm going to add a little bit of this peacock pearl metallic to it just to for fun. Uh, feel free to paint whatever colors you like. Whatever you like goes. It's all great. I am going to be using uh, Glorious Gold. Um, pretty much everything I'm using today is Deco Art Americana. And then I found in my stash, I found Glitter Paint. So we're going to try and play with that. I did not have any dark chocolate paint, but I did have coffee beans. So I hope this will work. Okay, and then there is white, and uh, we'll be using a palette knife or a plastic card, whatever it is that you have. What else? Oh, this thing over here is called Snow Tex. It kind of creates a um, 3D snow kind of look on your painting. So that's always fun. All right. So if you never painted with me, we usually paint for an hour and then we take a break. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I will respond and let's paint. Let me know who's ready. Give me thumbs up and we will start. Okay. Thumbs up for painting. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go. Let's turn this full on full view. No distractions. Everybody can see what's going on. So um, if you if you needed help with this transfer with the pattern, if you did not have um, transfer paper, I did. I made a video specifically, especially for this thing. So I. Um, uh, I did this by hand. So normally I would just print out what we have and transfer, but I did this by hand for those who needed to see how to do it by hand. Uh, both videos, uh, both are, it's one, okay, it's one video and it's available on YouTube. I put the link both in the groups and in the group and in the, um, um, Sorry, I can't talk today. In the group and on the page, 
Hi, Kathy. No such thing. You know that. Replays are available. So no such thing as being late. We're all good. Okay, let's begin. So I'm doing the teal background. Okay, I still have like pieces of eraser hanging on my paper. All right, so give your, if you're using uh, craft paints today, give them a good shake if you haven't touched them like for more than a couple of days. Yeah, this is a little bit off. This is not the color that I want. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix it a little bit with things. Okay. Looking forward to this, Angie, me too. This is a fun one. Oh yeah, look at that baby. That is awesome. So this is Peacock Pearl. I'm looking for interesting colors to add to your, to your choices, what you have at home. That one is a good choice. Okay, I got some uh, some gold, and I'm gonna put some. Oh, that's that paint hasn't been used in a very long time. Give it a good shake. <laughs> I'll I'll move it off the camera for a second so you guys don't get dizzy <laughs> with me shaking the paint. All right, it has happened before when we lost connection and. Uh, uh, StreamYard is what I use to be able to go through and use like two cameras and like all of this fancy stuff. Uh, so if we lose connection, I do try to reconnect, but I reconnect, I can only reconnect through one place, so I reconnect in the group. Okay. And if you're not in the group, then the following day I will post uh, a full, full replay. All right. So just in case, because it happened last time we painted and uh, that wasn't fun, really. All right, we're going to use a flat brush. Pick up the size that you're comfortable with. I really like this one. I don't know why. This is size 12. It's I think it's a three quarter inch and I use it a lot. Like this is my favorite brush. So I'm just making it damp taking extra moisture onto my paper towel. Okay, now listen up. If you're working on a canvas, uh, you want to uh, moisten it a little bit, make it a little bit damp, just a little bit. So put some water on your brush and just go like this on your canvas. Just put a little bit of water on it, okay? So what this does is it wakes the canvas up and your canvas will not seep up all the paint. And this way you get to use a little bit less paint. So you don't have to waste all that paint, you know, like it goes into the canvas. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna use the background colors, whatever your choice. I, I know um, in the guides, I even challenged you guys to use pink. So let's see what we'll come up with. And we are going to paint all the area around the chapel. Okay, this line here is a mistake, ignore it. Okay, so I'm just gonna use some of this metallic and some of this, uh, what is it called, sea, Oy. sea breeze, um, it's very much teal, teal. <laughs> and I am just going to paint the background. I completely forgot to put some white on my plate. Let's put some white. I use white a lot. That one doesn't need to be shaken at all. A little bit of white, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So I'm trying to create um, texture and interesting color pattern by mixing three colors here and there. And I'm doing this and I'm painting vertical strokes because when it's almost done i'm gonna add black lines uh, not black lines brown lines to this dark dark brown lines to this to make this look like wood like it's a wood palette so wood you know for wood it's kind of wood grain goes up and down 
And so that's what we're doing. Now see how my paint stops moving? It's because paper soaks up the, um, the moisture or the water from the paint. And this is why I told you to put some water on your canvas. Not too much. You do not want to use a lot of water with it. Just some. Just, I have a hair, a dog hair probably, on that. That's why I'm removing it, okay? Okay, and just keep going. So when we're done with what's on the reference, I'm going to show you how to add lights to this chapel. Would be fun, Christmas lights. If you, if you want them, stick around and I'll show you a very easy way how you can add lights to pretty much anything with a Q-tip. We will need different colors though. So, I'll tell you what we'll need. Nothing, nothing extra crazy. Pretty simple things. Ooh, I like that. So, yes, again, I'm using three colors here. The white, the, slow, the sea breeze, and the peacock pearl, I think it said. I don't remember already, I already forgot. Ooh, it's done. Okay, just keep going, keep going in our horizontal, uh, vertical, sorry, vertical. Keep doing your vertical lines. I just love how acrylics, like if you have the right colors, mixes, they just cover the Sharpie, they cover up pretty much anything. Just keep moving up and down. Make sure all your canvas is covered. Also, if you're on canvas, you might want to paint the sides now with this color that you're using. The sides, the bottom, if, if you like to do that, this would be a good time to do it. Okay. Again, should you have any questions, just put them in put them in comments. If you're watching replay, let me know. Say hello. Put number two in the comments. Okay. And I'm just making sure that I have. All my sides, like everything that I need covered is covered. And then I go back and make sure that all, all the things that I added are the up and down strokes. Okay. painted with me before. I paint on my mixed media. I paint in the mixed media pad because I ran out of space for for my canvases. So I just kind of paint on this. And so it gets a little bit wrinkly while it's wet, but then it, it bounces back to nice, nice and flat paper once it's dry.
Okay. All right. So we're going to rinse this brush. And we need the background to dry a little bit so we can do other things. And so while the background is drying, we're going to paint the windows gold. So I am simply using that same, the same flat brush. And I'm just putting color on. I'm not even... Oh, excuse me, I'm seeing my dog eating something he's not supposed to. Hold on just a second. Cooper. Okay, he found something he wasn't supposed to find. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Painting the windows. The windows and the doorways. This one here, I think on the tracer, if you're using the tracer, I think I'm missing this line over here. There should be three lines before the rounded entrance. And I think I'm missing the one in the middle. So kind of, you know, keep that in mind. Okay. There we go. All right. If I'm going too fast and you feel like you're falling behind, don't worry, replays will be available. Okay. Okay, so the last one. Goes all the way up here. I just love Gloria's gold. That's one of my favorites. When I have to put gold on something, that's the one. That's my go-to. It's so good. Okay, if you're done with your glorious gold, you can rinse out your brush. Okay, rinse out your brush. And I'm going to need more white, clean white. Okay, and I'm going to paint the chapel. The chapel walls and everything, this whole thing is white. So I'm just going to paint it white. Okay. 
Okay, and um, I'm going to extend my roof. And I'm going to try and not worry too much about my lines being perfect because there's also snow that's going to be added to this. So if something is not like perfectly smooth, you're fine. Don't worry about it. This is a little bit abstract, a little bit. Okay. Um. Okay, excuse me again. What's going on with my dog today? He found something else. Drop it. No. Okay, sorry about that again. Anybody else has a dog that all of a sudden starts picking up things he usually doesn't pick up? <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Keep painting white. You see now that you have the gold in, it's easy to just cut around it and make your lines nice and clean if that's, if that's the look you're going for. Okay. All right, husband's watching something, so if you hear the the noise, the TV noise, I apologize. Sometimes my microphone picks it up and sometimes it doesn't. I never know. I never know what's going to happen. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right, let me know how you're doing, what's going on, where are you at? Are you done with the background? Are you done with the windows? Are you done with the walls? Let me know. I'm rinsing my brush. Because my next step is going to, I'm going to use a knife next step. All right. Let me see what's okay. Kat is working on the windows. The paint isn't covering as beautifully as yours did. Is your paint too thick? That's my first question. If the paint is too thick, add a little bit of water to your brush. That will help. If the paint is too transparent, like you put it on and there's hardly any gold in it, I would paint the windows yellow first, warm yellow, and then put the metallic on top of that. That might help also. 
okay? Okay, I'm gonna try and do smaller smudges, paint smudges, all the way um, on the background. And I'm gonna use brown for that, so that it looks like wood. I'm gonna put a little bit kind of on my palette knife right here. Let me put my hand under so that you can see. Okay. And I'm going to grab a couple of spots and just drag. Drag, drag. I do not want to put a lot of them in. Just a couple. And so some of them I'm making kind of vertical. More vertical. And then others I'm making a little bit more horizontal, but I want them to be a scrape. Okay. All right, I'm going to wipe this down and then I'm going to use the same palette knife and I'm going to grab some gold, same way. Okay, and I'm going to add some gold kind of with that with the brown that I already put on, just little spots. You don't need a lot. Or if you want a lot, then put a lot in and that's fine too, you know? Do you, <laughs> do you, it's your painting. Decide what you want to do for. There's something like that. Okay, now, yes, this is small. So if you're using a plastic card, just cut it, cut it in like uh, four pieces. A ceramic coat, multi-surface metallic. I do not use that brand, Kathy. I'm sorry. I am not the big help here. Ceramic coat. I feel like I maybe had a couple of those. They didn't like the way they they covered things. So yeah. Well, um, maybe try and add a little bit of water and uh, do a couple of coats. Maybe then it will glide easier for you. Okay. All right. Let's see, what's our next step? Okay, next step is going to be horizontal lines that we're gonna add to the chapel to make it look like wood. And we're gonna use the flat brush and we're gonna bring it to the sharp chisel tip See, it's like a chisel. Yeah, and we're gonna grab just a little bit of that brown paint just on the tip. Clean it up even maybe a little bit so that it stays on the tip. And we're gonna start adding the, um, the boards. So I'm just gonna put one right here and then up there. And then one more. And just try and keep them parallel. Just use very light hand for this. You do not need like super thick lines to make this to make this work. See, just kind of keep adding it. Okay, okay, there is nothing on this roof over here. And then there is some boards right here.
And then they're going to break over here. There is a roof. There is the roof right here. So I'm not going to do that. Okay. And then the siding goes here on the side. Something like that. And again. And here. So we're just adding the siding. Okay, I'm going to rinse the brush. Okay. All right. So now we're going to add the outline for the church, and we're going to use the same... A chisel tip, or if you're not comfortable doing that, use a small round brush. We're going to do the same brown paint, dark brown, and we're going to just kind of outline all, all the lines. That we have here. All the way to the end. And the next thing. <laughs> And then the next thing, okay. Doesn't have to be like super even lines. It's just it's just like this. Okay, and then around the entrance. And then of course down here. And this roof up here. Okay, and also this is the time to trace the cross. If you're going to put the cross on top of it, this is when you do it. So you just go from the top up and then maybe back to make it more even and across. Okay. Check if your gold is dry, and if it is dry, um, uh, if your brush is as messy as mine, then super gently just wipe it on the paper towel one time. So you still have some paint on your brush, okay? So what we're going to do is called dry brushing, well, almost dry brushing. 
So we're just going to add a little bit of shading. With the same, with this, like, just add a little bit of brown in here. Okay, now we're going to rinse the brush. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of snow to this, to this chapel. So I'm going to use a filbert, filbert number five. Gonna like them for snow. Use what you like. If you have a preference for adding snow, use what you like. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my white and then I'm gonna let it dry. And then I'm gonna grab some of that uh, galaxy glitter or I don't remember what else I have here. So here, I'm just dabbing, dabbing it on. Put some snow on there. You might want to put some snow on the cross if it's like it's sitting in the out there. Okay. Add some snow to your um I'm not even sure what they're called, awnings, I guess, awnings. Make a whole lot of snow to this part here. So I'm just dabbing like this. You say I'll go pat, 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 dab, 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 just to put snow on here. I do not want um, strokes, per se. I just want snow, okay? And of course, some snow is going to be hanging out here and there. And there's going to be snow right here, so let's just put it on. Right there. So you see some of the roof is going to be covered and some you can still see some lines. Add a little bit on each roof, above each, above each doorway. Something like that. So see if you did something like if your lines weren't perfect here or something, you just put snow on top of it and can't even tell it was there. <laughs> All right. You can add some snow on the bottom and I am going to do that. Like starting from here. For me, it's about one inch. One inch from the top, and I am not going to do a straight line. And I'm also adding a little bit of teal, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this Laguna or sea breeze, whatever it is that I had. Just a tiny, tiny bit, because we're going to need to cover. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, cover this gold a little bit, right? So we're just going to paint, maybe not make it so level, don't make it like a straight line, give it a little bit of a motion, like room to move. Just cover this building, the bottom of it.
Just keep going. It's going to take a few coats to get to cover this. And glue all the way to the side. All the way to the side of your canvas. Not just, it's not just the chapel that got snow, right? Everything else also got snow. So we need to... This is going to take a while to dry. There is a whole lot of paint here. Just keep adding it. Now, if 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 you're gonna use um, snow text, if you're gonna use snow text for your snow, you probably can stop at the point where you can't see most of it, okay? And just add snow text to your roof, to your cross, like everywhere where we put snow, you can add snow text. I am going to use this glitter paint, heavily loaded acrylic. It's called Clear Ice Comet. I also have you know, a champagne, color called champagne something, and I can't find it for some reason. So I'm going to have to use this one today. So it will just add a little bit of shimmer to all the snow that I just put on here and that's what I want I just want shimmer I want snow I'm such a snow baby snow I grew up in Ukraine lived there my 29 years first 29 years of my life I lived in Ukraine and to me snow it's always a sign that something new is coming and changes are coming and you know especially when it's like the first time you wake up and the, everything's covered everything is white it just gives you this feeling that the city has been deep cleaned it's amazing okay and the smell of snow oh my gosh Smell of snow. Okay, I need more paint. Anybody there with me on snow? Where you guys live in the north and it's just a <laughs> bothersome <laughs> kind of just weather. It's just weather. You do not romanticize it as I do because I've lived in Texas for 11 years now. I didn't forget what that what that's like to you know to shovel and all of that. But you might think that I've forgotten what it's like. <laughs> Love the first snow of the year. Yes, yes, Kathy. I love the first snow and the second snow. And all the snow until like the end of middle of February. I love the snow. And then in the middle of February, I usually get like, okay, I'll be done yet. Time to be done. Let's be done. So yeah, I'm just adding this kind of glitter, uh, glitter paint to my snowy roof. Okay, cool. And I'm going to add some to this one to just kind of make it all united, right? So that it all has the same shimmer. And I'm going to add quite a bit to the bottom. And just to save me some time, I'm just going to score it right on here. <laughs> and just move it around and, you know. Put it here and there. 
just like the snow shimmers you know like it's not it's so many colors i love snow okay i told you already that i love snow <laughs> enough of that right all right so at this point we can leave it as is or we can add a little bit we can grab just a tiny bit of gold on the brush and add a little bit of gold kind of glow on the snow that's right by the doors see what i'm doing because snow reflects and picks up any light any color anything so if if you do not want to do this, it's fine. It's that kind of, it's kind of a, uh, what did I say? Abstract illustration kind of thing, right? It doesn't have to have all the, you know, shades and like all of that. But if you want to add that, it would just add a little bit more to your picture, kind of get that snow work make it work right <laughs> oh my goodness i love i love what do you guys think How, okay what's happening which which step are you on i don't want to rush you i do not want to rush you and i am not rushing you so please don't feel like i'm rushing you okay oh i dropped my Drop the hair. Okay, rinsing my brush. The glitter in the snow can be left for later. You can do that as a last touch when everything's more dry. I just kind of like the texture that it gets from there, from that. Okay um finishing outlining awesome awesome okay very cool all right so let me show you how to create lights if you wanted to add a string of lights underneath the awnings over here underneath those triangular on uh, awning awnings <laughs> wow okay so this is how i would do this i would start with lemon yellow you want cold or yeah i would go with lemon yellow just to start with and so this is a bonus okay this was not these supplies were not on the list if you do not have a lemon yellow you can use a regular yellow it will work it's just going to be a little bit of a different effect. Uh, grab a, a Q-tip. Get your lemon yellow on your Q-tip, okay? And put yellow dots, like, where you want those lights to be. Kind of space them evenly. Just just do your best with this. You can also add different color lights, but I thought that if we add too much color, it might not look good. Now I'm going to put some lights over here under this roof over here. Because, you know, if you're going to deck this out, why not? Might as well add some lights to it. And, of course, some enthusiast went all the way up here. People are starting to put lights up in, here in my neighborhood. And so I, I hear a lot about... Oh, who knows somebody who would climb up on the roof of the two-story house to, to put the lights up. 
The problem with that is that those people are never available to take the lights off. And then you're kind of stuck. <laughs> okay. So we've done this lemon yellow. And then I'm going to grab whatever, whatever small brush I have. It doesn't have to be a big brush, any brush. Okay, just make sure, make sure that it's small. And you can use the back side of that brush. And you can grab some white on it. And just put the white, small white dot in the middle of this light. Kind of like that. And it's a super easy, super quick way to add Christmas lights to pretty much anything. I was thinking about how to, how I was thinking I was going to add, I wanted to add a Christmas wreath, but I couldn't figure out where to put it. There's so many. Like everything's open, all the windows, all the doors, everything's open. And so it's hard to decide where to put the, um, the wreath. Okay, just dots, just the white dot inside of your light, all you need. And you know, quite honestly, I would just leave it like this. Sometimes people feel like they need to add, like they need to see the cord hanging. And sometimes, yeah, we do want to see the cord, but considering the scale, these lights are pretty big already, right? <laughs> I don't think we need a cord on these. I think these look great. Okay. I'm going to try and lift the painting up to the camera so that you can see closer what's happening with the lights. There we go. So I brought it up higher and I've got all like a gingerbread <laughs> gingerbread painting gingerbread house painting all right so um this is all wet but i still wanted to do like the boards make it look like boards so i think what i'm gonna do here i'm going to tell you how to do this because I know that I will definitely mess it up if I do it right now because all of the snow it's too much to just try and to try and dry it up with um you know with the heat gun so um here's how I would add boards to make it look like a palette if you want to do this you don't have to do it but if you want to you just need a long ruler. I suggest using a metal uh, one. You do not want to use like a wooden yardstick because your paints are going to get on it and they won't come off. Okay. And just, but I would use this, put it in place um, wherever I want it. And then, you know what? Let me try and do this over here on, on tape. And so you can see the, so you can see what I'm doing with this. So let's say this is where I want my board to go. And so I will take my uh, palette knife and put it in. But do you need black for this? Let's get some black. Okay. So get some black on your palette knife, just like that. Thank you. 
put your ruler on. I think this is uh, almost. This side is safe. I'm going to do this side here, over here. So put your ruler down where you want that board to go. Obviously, don't need the. Okay, just like that. And then just use your palette knife and apply pressure and keep that line. That's all you need. Okay. And you know, repeat as needed. Wipe down your ruler every time. So you did one line, wipe, wipe off your ruler so that when you move to the next one you do not drag paint on it because it will drag paint okay and also when you're putting your boards in i would recommend to uh center one center one around here somewhere and then go to the sides because otherwise you might end up like with the board cutting through the cross or cutting like through the middle that will not be looking great but something like this huh all right so let me take the tape off just because it is so satisfying so this painting really did not take long at all we are not going to need the break we are just we are done so definitely please share your art in the group or on my page or add it in the comments here, right here, because I love seeing what you paint. Okay. And... I think this is a good start for Christmas. <laughs> I am ready for more. I am ready to, to have Christmas. All right. So reach out if you have any questions, if you come up with like if something happened and you need help with something, like something's not working, quite working out for you in this painting, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Kath is working on her snow. Awesome. I cannot wait to see your chapels. I am so excited to see them. And until next time, bye.